All right, what is going on, everyone? It's Janky KF, and we're back with another G5 upgrade video. Today, we're gonna be putting in this bad boy, the Kingston. Uh, what is it? Two forty gigabyte, I think. Uh, two point five inch SSD. This one was supplied once again by my friend Alex, aka Duperator. His channel will be in the link below. But you can find one of these for about forty dollars or so on Newegg or um. Amazon or something like that. So, putting it into this computer. By the way, I don't know if YouTube's going to keep this, but I'm recording in 60 FPS, so it's going to be real smooth. So if the YouTube doesn't keep it, then uh, sucks to suck. So um, here we see in the G5. Currently, I already have an SSD uh, in there. That's a 250 gigabyte SSD, and um, I just need a bit more space. So that's why I'm going for this also SSD um, to put in there. So that one's an M.2, and this one's the 2.5 inch. And we can see on this computer. There are these two bays for the 2.5 inch, which you can just pull out like this. And um, instead of screws, what's nice is there are these little joint thingies where it actually aligns with the holes on the side of this SSD here. So let's not focus in. So yeah, I'm going to pause the video real quick while I snap that in there, but it should fit perfectly. Just make sure the plugs and stuff are facing outwards. So be right back. All right, so after we got it in right there, um, you can see there's two cable slots that we need to worry about. So one, you're going to need a SATA cable, and then one is going to be the cable that is already provided by Dell inside the machine, which I somehow managed to unhook. Oops, there it is. So very kindly provided by Dell. So what we're going to do is we're going to plug both those cables in. One will be for the power, and one will be to connect the actual data transfer unit. Um, so let me see here. There we go, and then we're just going to plug this one into here, if we can. It's hard to get the angle right, everything. Okay, hold on. We'll just be right back when I plug these two cables in. So this cable, uh, one end is going to go in there, and then the other end is going to go for this specific mother motherboard right in there. So, yep, be right back while I attach those. Alright, so once those are in, I uh, put the case back on, boot everything up, and hopefully nothing blows up. But yeah, um, that's how you install the 2.5 inch. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like, favorite, subscribe. If you ever need help installing RAM, we got a video of that uh, on this channel as well. And uh, leave a comment for anything else you might need help with computer-wise, and we'll see. Alright, we will see you all next time. Goodbye.